Hello guys and gals and welcome to another episode of Unique Items. Uh, today we're going to be looking at another shield. Uh, this one is known as the Lance Guard Barbed Shield. It does have a rather unique appearance, um, even more so than some of the other barbed shields. And uh, kind of like a little chess kind of a, what was that, the, the knight from the chess set on him, which is kind of cool. Um, it does have some interesting stats, and as we go over it today, I think you'll understand that it does have kind of some interesting uses. Uh, the Lance Guard is uh, an exceptional level item, which does mean that it can be upgraded. Uh, so we'll explore that as well. So let's go over the non-ethereal version first, which is uh, 173 defense, 47% chance to block for the uh, Paladin, 42% chance to block for the Amazon Assassin and Barbarian, and uh, for the Druid it is 37% chance to block Necromancer and Sorceress. Now um, this particular shield does have some interesting stats, and we'll go over those. Uh, but it does have a smite damage of 18 to 35 because it is a barbed shield. And uh, that can be upgraded a little bit further when it goes to the blade barrier. Uh, it has a durability of 55 to 55, a strength requirement of 65, and a level requirement of only level 35. Uh, the low level requirement on this item is actually pretty significant. Uh, and when we go over this item, it needs to be treated as such, as a level 35 item. 30% uh, faster hit recovery is massive and quite honestly should not be underestimated. Um, it is a really, really nice stat, especially for a lower level character who's probably going to be having issues with faster recovery. It also has 20% deadly strike, which is a chance to deal double damage. That is an amazing thing to have on a shield, uh, which means that you can combine this with other such items that you may have around you at that particular time that also have Deadly Strike, and this can come in extremely handy for characters who do not have any native form of Critical Strike. So like for instance, Amazons and Barbarians and Assassins have a native form of Critical Strike, but Paladins and Druids do not. Um, so, you know, maybe, for instance, if you were putting this specifically on a character like a Paladin or a Druid who wants to have Deadly Strike but doesn't have any form of native Deadly Strike, or, or Critical Strike, rather, um, this 20% Deadly Strike can actually be pretty massive as it will double the damage that you do, physical only, um, it, when it procs, and can be stacked with other forms of Deadly Strike to increase that number higher. Like, for instance, you could use a uh, Cold Steel Eye Cutlass, uh, you could use Gore Riders, uh, there are a lot of different items in the game that have Deadly Strike on them and could combine very nicely with this shield to bring you very close to the 100% cap of Deadly Strike. Uh, we also have a 120% enhanced defense, which does vary by quite a lot from 70 to 120%. Um, that means the defense of this shield does vary uh, quite, quite a large amount, especially when upgraded. Uh, we also have a 50 to life bonus on this, which is a flat number, doesn't change. An attacker takes damage of 47, which is actually pretty high, and will stack with other effects like thorns. Like, for instance, the uh, thorns right now gives 184 at, at level 23. So if you put this on with thorns, it will go up from 278 to 325, which is a pretty nice little bonus for your attacker takes damage of. Um, keep in mind that attacker takes damage of, or rather thorns, has been changed so that it procs on attack and not on striking, which means the monster no longer has to hit you to proc the thorns, which is actually pretty darn cool. Uh, we also have a 15% damage taken goes to mana, which is actually extremely useful for melee characters, uh, specifically because when you get in there and you get beat up, it will restore all your mana relatively quickly. If you're unaware of how damage taken goes to mana works, is basically it works like this. If I take 100 damage to my globe, 15 of that will go to my mana. However, I will still take 100 damage. I don't. It doesn't re remove any of that damage that I'm taking to my globe, but it will, however, take 15% of whatever that number is and add it to my mana, which is very, very nice. And it will keep your mana full on a regular basis as a melee character because you're in there getting beat up on a regular basis, um, which actually works out very nicely. Uh, the ethereal version has a little bit higher defense at 261 and a little bit lower strength requirement at 55. Now we can, of course, upgrade this to the Blade Barrier. And uh, when you upgrade this to the Blade Barrier, there are quite a few statistics that are going to go up. Um, and let's explore those together, shall we? Boop. 
So the uh, non-ethereal version goes from 173 defense, 47% chance to block, smite damage of 18 to 35, 55 durability, 55, 65 strength, and level 35 requirement, to the 336 defense, blade barrier, 50% chance to block, as you can see the block chance went up, uh, Smite damage of 26 to 40. Smite damage went up nicely. Uh, 118 strength, and uh, the durability went up to 83, by the way. Uh, we also have a level requirement of only level 58, so not a bad little upgrade there for that particular item's level requirement. Defense and uh, just about everything, quite honestly, went up nicely. Um, we also have the Ethereal version, which is defense of 261, a chance to block 47%, smite damage 18 to 35, durability 55, strength requirement 55, and level 35, which goes up very nicely to 495 defense, 26 to 40 smite damage, 50% chance to block, 83 durability, 108 strength, and level 58. Um, as you can see, this particular shield does have some interesting uses, and if you wanted to specifically use it uh, for a character who needs extra deadly strike, it's actually quite nice. The downside of this shield, obviously, is that it doesn't have any resistances on it. Um, if you did plan on using this shield, you might want to put a perfect diamond or an umrune in it, um, or maybe even just lean even heavier into the damage category. And maybe put like a 1540 jewel in it or something like that. It is a shield that is very pointed at offense. It is not a defensive shield, which is kind of silly because of course it is a shield and shields are generally used for defense, right? But not the blade barrier, not the lance guard, not the uh, not this particular shield. This is an offensive shield. This shield is meant to take you into battle and help propel you further into, into combat, not to uh, slow you down. Um, so, you know, having the deadly strike on there, the faster hit recovery, um, along with the damage taken goes to mana, is going to speed up your combat not slow it down. Now granted there probably are better shields out there that you could use, but there are not a lot of shields out there that have deadly strike on them. So keep that in mind. Um, especially if you are a character who does not have deadly strike. As I said, if you are a paladin, if you are a druid, if you are a, um, a, a melee sorceress, a melee necromancer, I mean there are tons of different options out there in the Diablo world. But if you're a character that does not have any form of deadly strike at all, and you would like to have Deadly Strike, this is one of your options. Obviously, you can use other things like Gore Riders, which have a very nice 15%, uh, so 15 plus 20. That's actually a very nice 35% there. You can also use G-Face. You can use High Lord's Wrath. You know, there are definitely options for Deadly Strike, but this is a, an option as well, which could be one that could help you out a ton. Um, where could you find this particular shield if you wanted to find it? Let's take a look over on Silo's Ben, and let's see where potentially we could find this shield, shall we? So, um, since it is a level 35 shield, I'm going to assume 100% magic find, because we're going to pretend that we're a relatively low-level character. Um, we're also going to uh, specifically look for this shield, so the Lance Guard. There he is. And we're going to take a look at bosses first. Now, uh, if we take a look at the bosses on the list, you'll notice that we have uh, Mephisto in Nightmare is one of our best options there at 1 in 1,297 for non-quest kills. Uh, we also have Diablo in Nightmare at 1 in 1,354, and Bale in Nightmare at 1 in 4,000, 1, 1 in 1,403. Not bad. Uh, and Ariel also in Hell Difficulty is a pretty decent shot there. But of course, if you're level 35, you're probably going to want to farm this in Nightmare difficulty. And uh, honestly, uh, your best bet's probably Mephisto in Nightmare, because if you're trying to get this on level, um, he's the lowest level monster, uh, lower level boss anyway, that drops the item. Let's take a look at Super Uniques real quick, and let's see what kind of options we have for Super Uniques. In fact, let's restrict this to Nightmare difficulty, because let's assume we're actually a low level character who's trying to find this. Um... And uh, I do see the Summoner here in Arcane Sanctuary, but that's a little bit out of range for a level 35 character. Uh, Cold Worm, the Burrower, a lot of these are not really good options. Uh, Dark Elder is kind of easy to find in Lost City, um, but still, again, a little high level for a level 35 character. I'm not really seeing a lot of good options here for a level 35 character, it, and this tends to be the case a lot when it comes to Nightmare level items. Despite the fact that Nightmare level items are literally level 35, and you 
generally don't get to, um, you know, like Act 3, Act 4, Nightmare, until much, much, much later in the game. I've noticed that for some reason or another, uh, when it comes to finding these items, it's just they never seem to drop when you actually need them. I don't know who is in charge at balancing out the Nightmare level items to be dropped at the correct levels so that you could actually utilize them, but they failed miserably. Um, the normal difficulty items can drop when you need them. The hell difficulty items can drop when you need them. But the nightmare ones are just like squashed in weird places. And, and by the time you actually find the nightmare level uniques, a lot of the times you're far past them. And it's actually quite sad. But this particular item it could be useful even on an endgame build, in my opinion, uh, specifically because of that Deadly Strike. So if you are trying to build like a max Deadly Strike character, um, this could definitely come in handy for that. Um, as always, I do appreciate you guys and gals watching my videos, um, even when I am uh, guarding against lances. And uh, as always, keep watching.